Hi guys, this is Bloody Wheels. Today we are here with the Taurus G2C. Yes, this firearm is safety check. Here with a very cool product I've picked up recently from a maker shot. And no, I have no affiliation with this company. They did not send me this for free. I purchased this because I thought it would be uh, just good for video content. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it afterwards, but it's one of these uh, aluminum back plates that replaces the factory plastic one on your G2C with the little Punisher skull on the, on the back of it. Um, I think this is advertised as fitting, let's see here, the PT-111 G2, the PT-140, and it should work also with the G3C and the full-size G3. Better check their website just to make sure I'm not telling you wrong. This could be some old packaging. But they should have all the same slides, so it should work on the G2S as well. But here's the packaging from MakerShot. They show you a diagram of how to install this on your firearm, and we will go through that. We're going to install this and see how it looks. I'm not going to leave it on my firearm. I like to leave mine as stock as can be. I just thought it'd be cool to leave it on or put it on there and show you guys how it looks. And maybe if you're interested, you can go to that website there who offers it and pick one of those up if you'd like to spice up your firearm a little bit. It'd be cool if they make them without the Punisher skull and offer them in some kind of different anodizing colors like blues and reds. I think that would be a cool idea. Still cool to have the Punisher there. But always make sure your firearm is clear. Make sure your mag is ejected, which the instructions will tell you. They go ahead and uh, tell you in step one to clear your ammo, inject your magazine, lock your slide back, and we're gonna go, we're gonna go through it. We're gonna do it our own way. Um, you don't have to take the slide off in these instructions. I probably would, just because it gives me the opportunity to look inside and make sure things are clean and old, but you do not have to. So you will lock your slide back. Once again, make sure your firearm is clear of any ammunition. And your back plate is back here. So you're gonna need some kind of small tool to release this uh, back plate here. You will see your striker, ch uh, striker channel will be made of plastic, so please be very careful. We'll try to do this on video the best I can, but you'll push down on this little orange uh, striker channel, and that'll free up that mag plate, or the back plate there, releasing this one. And this is your factory plastic back plate, uh, made out of some kind of polymer, just like the rest of the firearm. It is plastic, but it looks like they put a steel insert into it to give it some strength. And let's go ahead and open the new one we're gonna install. Let's get my little pig sticker here, which was a gift from my children. Let's go ahead and open it up real manly here. Just be careful these things are kind of small, so do not lose them. And here is the new back plate. Let's see, is, is this powder coated or anodized? I cannot tell. My eyes are not that good anymore. But this is made out of aluminum. Um, very nice looking. Black, once again with the Punisher skull on the back. So let's go ahead and install that now. Let's see if I can successfully do this on film. Let's go ahead and um, get it in the right place and get ready to push down on this uh, striker channel here. Let's see here, kind of hard to do. You're gonna have to push this down with your thumb and keep it down with uh, your tool. This is really difficult to do on film. Let's see, where'd that piece go? I don't know if you guys can see what I'm doing here, but you will see the outcome in just a second. There you go. So I held that piece down, new back plate slid right into place, just like the factory one. So sorry, everything is just super difficult on camera, especially with my tripod right here getting in my way. But installs just like your factory plastic back plate. So you can release that slide. And looky there. Look how mean that looks. You know, I may keep it on there. I don't know. I kind of like the look of it. Or I may pass it on to somebody else, sell it. I don't know. I picked these up. I don't remember how, how much they cost. I picked up two of them here recently. You can uh, order these. I think they have them on eBay, Amazon. I think they have their own website. So that was Maker Shot. MakerShot offers magazine loaders and a host of other different products. Once again, I have no affiliate towards them. I make no money on any, any purchase you make through them. They have no idea who I am. I don't buy any of their products except for what I purchase here because they're the only ones that I found that offer them. 
I just thought it would be a cool addition. Man, look how cool that looks. For those who are interested in the Punisher skull look, still gives it a factory clean look because it remains black just like the factory one here. But instead it is made out of aluminum it looks like. But yeah, very cool looking. I wish they would offer a few more designs, a few more colors, but that's okay. Many have asked me uh, in the past if I'm going to offer these things. You know, I looked into it. I can probably design something like this. I don't know about making the steel insert and all that. I kind of dropped the idea. I would rather not make something like this because I planned on making these and offer the reds and blues and a host of different colors. But right now I've dropped that idea. I'm just afraid the plastic will not hold up to the abuse. I'm just not uh, certain of that. So I'm not going to offer them, but yeah, that looks really nice. I may leave it on there, I may not. I may just give it to somebody else, but I thought it would be a good idea to showcase it for those who may have been interested in these and see, wanted to see how they looked before they purchased them. I can't remember how much I, I bought them for, but it wasn't that bad because I got a discount for two of them. But it comes in very nice plastic packaging with a diagram to show you exactly how to install it with the instructions listed in text here. So very nice. Maker shot. I will not send a link to that in the video description below, but I just told you the name of it, so you can just search that in Google. It is Maker Shot. You can see all the products they offer. I don't care to give a shout out to other companies. You know, I mean, they're a lot bigger than I am. I mean, I would like to get more business myself, but hey, I'm just, I'm a gun guy. I'm a buyer. I want to show you products that you may be interested in. So that's what this channel is for. Not just to showcase my own products, but just to show products for firearms that you may not be aware of that you could be interested in. So if you are interested in that, go check out Maker Shot and see if you, uh, you can pick up one of these uh, backplates there. So there you go. Appreciate you watching. Have a good day.